And then there's also fear. I just have to let my voice to be heard. I can't just wait and just watch TV and, you know, wait for politicians to, you know, oh, I'm gonna pass that. Well, I know that in my family, my mom really doesn't want me to talk about the issue. I've been going to school here in the United States since I was in kindergarten. When you are a minority in a minority, you feel really lonely sometimes. My friends found out about my status. I guess I felt like I'm pushing them away by telling them my status. I, I don't want to try because, again, I don't want them to look at me differently. I don't know, there's like no one second that teachers does not remind me, like I cannot apply for colleges. Oh, you're undocumented. You're not supposed. You cannot do that. It's limiting what I want to do. There's a lot of stigma around just being undocumented, and I think groups like Aspire are there so that we can break those stereotypes and break the stigma around the issue. Because you know, there is there is a negative connotation to being undocumented. As a gay youth, I feel that coming out as a homosexual is easier sometimes than to come out as undocumented, just because people are more aware of sexual identity now, not so much about immigration status. And I feel like I'm stuck because I don't really know where to go. I'm not sure where I belong anymore. I'm currently a senior in college and I'm about to graduate with a bachelor's degree and my bachelor's diploma is going to be insignificant because I won't be able to use it. Definitely, it's an individual process, but at the same time, it's a community process that it takes all of us to do that. You know, because when you when you want to be politically involved, you can't just do it by yourself. You got to reach out to other people. I've lived here about 18, 19 years. I feel like I am uh, part of this society, but even then, in the back of my mind, I know that some people don't think I belong. To me, Aspire is like a family, because we can talk to each other about what's wrong. And it also reaches out to those kids who are in the community and are afraid to come out and tell people. And it, we let them know that it's okay and that there will be change. Now I'd like to invite two students who are part of a group called Aspire. My mom has always been my advocate. And she told me once that um, Everyone has a duty to the society because since society gave us the strength, we're here. And I'm indebted to the society for giving me my education. And I only wish to give back and thank society for giving me what I have.
I, I think it's hard to talk about it in Asian families because um, personally, I think ignorance is part of it. Me, my sister, and my mom got issued deportation orders. Even though me and my sister were only four and five years old, we couldn't really represent ourselves. And I still didn't really understand my situation until I realized I didn't have a social security number. Well, I guess it's been a year and a half since I graduated, and I, I'm just finding out now that I can go to college. What I'm asking you is to pass and support the immigration re reform now. It is time for us to come out of a shadow. Getting politically involved in many ways empower all of us because it really it enables us to do something about about our issue. During my senior year, I was applying to you know like colleges and I was filling out my application. There's part where you know I had to write a social security number, and uh, I didn't know what to put. So I talked to my mom about it, and uh, she told me about my situation. You know, I can apply to school or get financial aid or get a driver license. You know, I joined a lot of organizations to gain experience, trying to be a leader and trying to learn more about politics. And I realized that I don't want to like you know sit around and yeah. just wait for politician to you know say that they're gonna pass the Dream Act. So I decided to you know get involved and let my voice heard because I felt like that's the only solution for me to change or pass the Dream Act. Uh, the main reason why I ran for a student body president because to show that you know anything is possible regardless of race, gender, or status. I need to do something so that I can get change to happen. It's important for us to be politically active because I mean I think these politicians need to see the face behind the issue and you know like who else better than us to raise awareness. If I can change a person's mind, maybe a person who disagrees completely with us. If I can let him or her see that I deserve to be in the United States, if I can change one person's mind, then everything is worth it, even my own deportation. Please allow us to reach and complete our dream. Please allow us to believe that there is a future for us. Please allow us to show to the community what we can do if we were citizens of the United States. Please support and pass immigration reform because our kids, our students, and our family need it. Thank you. Thank you.